Hello, and welcome back to Lojban is Too Easy. The first lesson was E. You really do need E or something to separate your sentences, because then you have that Lojbanic clarity that we all came here for. Oh, E. Separate out our sentences. That's good. And then I added we. Honestly, I just did that for fun. If you've been following these lessons, then you can you can see that we don't actually like need we in order to make sentences and talk and stuff. We, I feel happy about that. We just threw that in like for fun because that's the most fun part of Lojban. Lojban is seriously is too easy and we could have just made boring sentences, but we threw in we also for fun. Lanme is a verb for sheep. Sheep is a verb because everything's a verb, and verbs are one of the only things we actually need. We threw in T, what I'm pointing at, just for convenience. You don't really need any... It's totally pro-drop. You drop, can drop pronouns like T, and you totally don't need any pronouns at all. That was just more convenient because it took us until we got to lesson 10 and learned how to use low, and then lesson 11 we learned how to to split stuff off th with the subject is something starting with low and we don't want, want it to stick together into a stacked verb. So for convenience, we threw in T, but you don't even need that. So out of, so you know, this is all, so this is just extra really. Shadzu is a verb meaning to walk. Ohu is another, is totally extra we type word that means I feel relaxed about that. Srasu means grass. Me is another pronoun you can totally leave off that means me, I. Shitka means to eat. Lo, lo makes you, lets you make a verb, use a your verb as a noun phrase. So then, so then we can just, that's, we can just use the verbs as nouns and we don't even need like to learn nouns also. Shu lets us, uh, put, there's since you can stack verbs, which is what we use instead of adverbs and adjectives and stuff to modify stuff. You can so, since you can stack them. Sometimes you need shoe. Watch out, verb coming up. The there's a verb coming up next to 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 split things off a little bit. So that's loge bunny. Klama means to go to from. Oi means ow or. No, uh, that, that made me feel bad. I feel bad about this. Oi. Next, we're just going to learn trishu. Trishu means tree. It's a verb meaning to be a tree. I mi klama lo trishu. I i lanme. Iti strasu. Imi klama lo trishu. Iti trishu. This is a tree. Iti trishu. Iti trishu. Imi klama lo trishu. Imi klama ti lo trishu. I go to this from the tree. So, me is the first thing, and then he. I me clama ti. I me clama lo trishu. I go to this. I go to the tree. I me clama ti. I me clama ti lo trishu. I go to this from the tree. Since the tree is the third thing in mi klama ti lo trishu, then the third thing in with the klama relationship is that there's the um is where you go from. So mi klama lo trishu i mi klama ti lo trishu. Imi trishu klama. You could call either one of those three going. It's it trishu klama if you were if you weren't if you hadn't um 
If I was guessing and someone said three shoe clama and stacked up tree and go, I might think they were going to to a tree. But if you were like, hey, where did you just come from? And someone said, me three shoe clama, then it might mean, you know, depend, it, depending, it could mean I uh, go from a tree. It just means that the going is related to the tree somehow. Imi strasu clama, I grass go. Imi trishu clama, I tree go. Imi clama lo trishu. Imi clama lo strasu lo trishu. I go to the grass from the tree. Imi clama lo trishu lo strasu. I go to the tree from the grass. Imi clama lo lanme. I go to a sheep. Is there a sheep for me to clama to? There's only this horse. Wasn't there a purple sheep? You remember there was a purple sheep. Well, there's a blue and a black one. Lo lanme shu clama me. Lo lanme shu clama me. The sheep goes to me. Lo lanme shu clama me. I mi clama lo trishu. I lo lan me shu clama mi. I lo lan me shu clama lo trishu. I mi lan me clama. Now, now the way my going is related to the sheep is that the sheep it's it's going is follow is following me, so. My going makes the sheep follow me. So that's another way that I'm lan me clama. Lan me clama doesn't have to mean going to a sheep. If you want to be specific, going to a sheep, you say, clama lo lan me. Imi clama lo lan me. Ilo lan me shu clama me. The sheep comes to me. And it, does, it doesn't say the sheep goes to me if you say, Lolan me clama me. That is a perfectly good sentence. That's very valid. You're such a valid sentence. So valid. And the, that very valid sentence says, a sheep goer, me. There's some relationship between those two things. Between me and a sheep goer. Lolan me clama me. But if you want to say the sheep goes to me, then you're going to need the shoe. I lo lan me shu clama mi. I lo lan me shu clama mi. And it doesn't matter whether there's one sheep or two sheep, they're still called lan me, which is the same in English with sheep, thus the example of sheep. I, I haven't mentioned this whole time that it doesn't, that if, there, if the English did say sheeps, then it would be lan me either way. And you know from how English says sheep that you don't, you don't even have to think about how many sheep when you say sheep. You say a sheep, the sheep, many sheep, some sheep, sheep. There are, there, so in English you do, you do conjugate somewhere else. And in Lajban there are ways to say how many, but you just don't have to. You can just say lan me, I lan me. There are the lan, lan. Something is one or more sheep. If you could translate that more accurately, I lan me. There is something which is one or more sheep, which is not. That's not how you would say it in English, but that's like a little literal meaning of it. I lo lan me shuklama me. The one or more sheep go to me or come to me, go and come, whatever that distinction is, that Lajbad doesn't, that especially either. I mi lan me clama lo trishu. I lo lan me shu clama lo trishu. I lo lan me lo trishu shu clama. You can say more, you don't have, you, you don't have to just say one, Noun before the verb, so you can say either lo lan me shu clama lo tri shu the sheep 
goes to the tree or trees. So it's not clear whether I'm saying it goes to this particular tree or that I'm saying that it's going to this group of trees because you could call them together. All of these together are, are tree shoe. They're, they're being trees. So, uh, both of those. It's <laughs> go to the tree or trees. The same as sheep, but also with trees and everything. So you can say lo lan me shuklama lo tri shu the tr the sheep or sheeps go to the tree or trees. Or you can say lo lan me lo tri shu shuklama. And then it's a, a verb, lo lan me, and then another verb, lo tri shu, and then shu, watch out, verb coming up next, and then the verb. I lo lan me mi. Klama. Now that one's interesting because you also in lo lan me mi klama the sheep come to me. You also don't need a shoe there because again me even if it's in the middle like that me does not isn't a verb and doesn't want to go in a verb stack. You would have to convert it into a verb to make it make it hang out in a verb stack or use a verb that means me. There's all of those. There's so much stuff in Lojman. Lojban being a pile of stuff is different than it being complex or difficult or, you know, it's, uh, it's not complex or difficult, but it is a huge pile of stuff. So you could like make or do something complex with that pile of stuff. Um, and there's so much different stuff you use it, but if you, the, we're using me, which it's just a, which is just a pronoun, an optional pronoun. And, but it's nice sometimes with how the grammar works, because in a sentence like lo lan me, mi, klama, you don't need the shu or anything if the, to say where the klama is the verb, because me doesn't want to form a stack with the other things. So, so it makes it, that makes it. That makes it convenient sometimes to use pronouns. They're totally optional, but if you're like, yay, with the pronouns, my sentences sound good, then that's good. Ilo lan me mi clama. I mi clama lo trishu. I mi lo trishu shu clama. Can't just say, mi lo trishu clama. That means, me, a tree goer. I mean, we totally can say it. It's hella valid. Mi lo trishu clama. Me, a tree goer, something about those. But to say, I go, I go to the tree, me, no tree shoe, clama. Okay, tree shoe, tree shoe means tree. Check it out, there's some trees. Or as we think of it now, now that, now that you, now that you speak Lojban and can think in Lojban, tree shoe. It's a tree shoe.